Recently, I've been told that a video on internships would be very helpful. So I'm going to be talking about how I got my summer internships in college, my freshman year, sophomore year, and this upcoming summer as well. I have my laptop in front of me, so don't worry, this is like not arbitrary numbers. And also, I'm going to try to keep the company names anonymous. I mean, I'm sure if you like really wanted to know, you could probably find out. The internet is a large place. Oh, I should probably introduce myself first. I am a junior currently at Cornell University. My major is in information science, systems and technology in the College of Engineering. And I have a business minor as well. I came in actually freshman year as a biomedical engineer major. That ended really quickly. I just don't like biology. Bruh. So I actually didn't start applying for internships my freshman summer until the winter time. I applied to a total of nine companies all in the information, technology, IT areas. A singular company rejected me. Everyone else ghosted me, except for the one company that I got an interview with. Actually, at this time, I basically had no experience. I came into college BME, right? But I was also on the pre-vet track, so my previous experience was all in like veterinary medicine. And I remember it was so bad. I didn't know how to make a resume my freshman year. So the resume I sent like to all the companies was four pages long. Yeah, just absorb that real quick. So no wonder I got ghosted and rejected. But anyways, I had one company respond to me. The company was in the like banking financial services. First round was with HR, lovely interview all behavioral the second round was when i actually found out what like specific team and it was in the cybersecurity field called identity governance so my second round interview was with a manager and two of her like senior employees again it was almost all behavioral i did apply as a sophomore because i do intend on graduating early so even at that time i had my whole four year planned out so i did change my graduation date guys it is really difficult to apply as a freshman so if you can't graduate early you should definitely give that a whirl. But long story short, I passed all the interviews, got my internship offer for freshman summer. Very, very proud because I actually did not expect to get anything. The internship was fully remote. For my very first industry experience, it was an excellent company. I had really great mentorship and honestly, a very, very positive experience in general. It didn't align like 100% with what I, you know, am studying and what I intend on pursuing. For freshman year, you know, no complaints. Also, I did dye my hair, so that's why it looks really, really light. Before I move on to my sophomore summer, I just want to emphasize finding an internship as a underclassman before your junior summer is incredibly difficult. Unless you are absolutely cracked, don't feel discouraged if you get rejected or ghosted because my sophomore summer, I applied to a total of 86 companies. Ole, ole. I got rejected by about 35 companies. Everyone else ghosted me. I had a singular interview. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I applied to all data science, data analytics, software engineering, IT positions. The only additional experience that I had up to this point is my internship number one, as well as I joined a project team on campus. It's called Cornell App Dev. It is a app development project team and I'm on the product marketing team. Why am I mentioning this? I think that my experience on AppDev is what got me the offer for my sophomore summer. Let me rewind. For the only company that gave me a chance, this company had three rounds of interviews. So first round was with HR. It was just a phone call. HR people, so nice. Like you guys, yeah. Second round was with the manager. The position was for mobile engineering. So working with React Native and it was more like a software engineering position. Very little technical questions, but I genuinely think what made me stand out was my experience in AppDev. I'm pretty comfortable with coding and I genuinely believe given the resources, time, energy, anyone can make an app. What makes an app actually succeed is how it is marketed. There can be billions of really great apps, but we don't know about them because they weren't really marketed. And so I really emphasize this point and I think it was exactly what this team needed because would this be giving it away? This company is in e-commerce. They really wanted someone that understood how users think and be able to redesign their app to appeal to the users. I kind of hit the point with my experience on AppDev. Thank you, AppDev, really appreciate it. Moved on to the third round of interviews, this time with like three, four? five interviews it was like basically a group managers and employees from like adjacent teams anyways and it was all like testing for like cultural fits a lot of scenarios good news is i got the offer 
which is really great. And so obviously I accepted it. It was actually in person and in my hometown. This was around winter time and I was like chilling, you know, rest of sophomore year. I was like, okay, I got an internship back at home, like so slay, very happy. Actually, it was really depressing because winter time in Ithaca is really depressing. And then April 24th, 2024 hit. I just want to emphasize again, late April. And I find out that very, very unfortunately, the company I signed this internship offer for canceled their summer internship program. So I went full on panic mode. I was really looking forward to interning at this company. This unfortunate news actually set me spiraling. In a few weeks, internships start. I remember like actually crying, calling my mom. I literally wished this experience on no one because it was honestly the most stressful week of my, I wouldn't say, okay, that was a little bit dramatic. So you might ask, what did I do? I actually do take a little bit of pride in being able to use my anxiety and my despair and have it fuel me and motivate me because I mass applied to 29 different companies. I literally got LinkedIn premium and I mass messaged people. And I am pretty sure I used the word desperation because that is the state I was genuinely in. I'm a religious person, so I do think that the result was God's blessing because I got a total of four interviews, ended up with three offers within the span of a week. And I don't think this is me flexing because I genuinely think this is a miracle. Like I was praying so hard, but anyways, I basically either submitted an application or found an email and sent an email. I would look up that company on LinkedIn, company Y, data science manager, because I had LinkedIn premium. So I sent like a personalized message explaining my situation and amazingly managers actually responded and the company that I ended up interning for so my manager's manager is the guy who I out of the blue messaged on LinkedIn he got me set up with HR and then HR got me set up with an interview with my direct manager. It was just a singular round of interview with this company. And I genuinely thought I actually messed up too. I was like devastated afterwards. In the afternoon, I got a email to call with HR and I got my offer. I chose this specific company because it was like a really big company and it's in the automotive industry which is not something that i've really worked with and what was perfect was that this was an in-person internship in my hometown actually it was hybrid but it was in my hometown i can't express the amount of gratitude i have for reading my message getting back to me so quickly and just like this entire process being so quick and efficient whereas like other companies i wait for months to get like an email back about how i was rejected what was also really amazing about this internship was that it was a data science internship and it genuinely aligned with everything that I was doing in school. So I worked a lot with like Python and I actually had like a really cool opportunity to give a presentation of a project that I was working on to the North America CFO. Hopefully you'll see my experience as like a little bit encouraging as well. Um, I don't think I'm a really wise person. I'm literally just telling you my experience. I don't feel like I'm qualified to say anything more. I honestly think one of my biggest strengths is just being able to like learn and adapt quickly. And I think it's gotten me this far in life. And I also think my work ethic, if that last situation didn't show you like how hard I worked under pressure and stress, like I don't know what will. If you're anything like me and you don't consider yourself like a CS prodigy, it's okay. Like we can still succeed in life. Freshman year me would have really loved hearing that. I think it's really difficult to be surrounded by so many like intelligent people and having that constant pressure to compare yourself to those people and feeling like you're not good enough. I hope this kind of serves as encouragement. Like if you try your best, it truly will pan out for you. I'm gonna step off the my high horse. Is that a saying? So I'm currently a junior, right? For next summer, so this coming junior summer, summer 2025, what will I be doing? I got an internship. And let me walk you through that process because junior summer, my friends, is probably the most important summer of your college life. It is very likely for companies to extend return offers. If you did well as an intern, they obviously want you back. And it's also more 
financially smart of them to because they're not taking a risk by hiring someone completely new. That being said, I started applying to my junior summer internship the previous like July, June, July. And that might sound a little crazy, but it worked out. So I applied to a total of 33 companies, mostly big companies. I really tried to like aim big this time, like go big or go home. And I got a total of 15 explicit rejections. I also had around five to six online assessments as in like leak code. And those were mostly for like the software engineering roles that I applied for, you know, understandably so. Um, yeah. I didn't do those. Every time they sent it to me, I saw the company. I'm like, okay, it's okay. I don't really even like that company that much. Bruh. Like I know I can code well. It's the same thing with standardized exams. I don't do well with like technical questions under a time crunch. Like I've done the code questions. And honestly, like if the coding assessments they gave me were truly just like data specific, I think I probably would have actually give it a try and probably maybe would have done well but they were gonna be more like oop time complexity things i have not touched in a hot second this is the reason why my major is in information science and not computer science because a like i cannot imagine coding all day every day and you might wonder why the heck are you in data science i like numbers a lot more i'm a lot better at statistics i eventually i would like to pursue the business path that's why i have a business minor i like working with people a lot i would eventually like to get my mba maybe like go more on like the business management side it worked out well for me because there was a company that sent me an online assessment that was not coding and it was more numbers based and it was working with Excel. It was working with like calculations on like finances, interest. It fit my skill set a lot more and I really felt like I was able to show my strengths. Like my skill is not coding a hash map like in 30 seconds and then explaining like how to optimize it and what the time complexity is. Like that is not my strength. My strength is truly like very, very number based analytical and using code whenever is necessary. So for that company, I also felt like it was a lot more useful. It was genuinely situations that I can foresee myself dealing with in the future in the company. So for that company, we'll call the company Cheesecake. I got my online assessment, passed the first round. Second round, got another online assessment, a very numerical assessment, passed the second round of Cheesecake's Wow, I can't, can't take that seriously. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you. What was this position for? It was for a business analyst position. Yeah, it's not data science. I'm trying new things here. Analytics, business. That's basically what I'm studying. Cheesecake invited me to their super day. It's basically a very long chunk of interview and it's usually the final round. The super day was scheduled for four hours. And so you had an hour break but my break was at the very end. So I had interview, 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 break. All three interviews were technical. They started and ended with a little bit of behavioral questions and they were all different interviewers as well. And they were experts in their field. Trust me, I know, I looked them up on LinkedIn. It really was like calculations, a lot of like critical and analytical thinking, which I love. Maybe sometimes I just wonder, did I choose the right major? Maybe I should have gone into like business analytics. Cause honestly, I love like the practicality of it. I love how having the application where you can see the direct outcome. One of the interviews, I did like mess up on one of the parts though and I got really scared and I was like, oh, and then, but my interviewer was like, oh, like, can you recalculate X, Y, Z? And I was like, oh, let me do that. So I, I, I fixed it pretty quickly, which is great, but that like freaked me out. And you know, the fact that I'm talking about it, as you can imagine, I got an offer from Cheesecake. And what's really exciting was that this offer was extended to me right before school started. And I was honestly like beyond grateful because that means that I didn't have to stress about like applying to internships during this junior year where like I was overloading on classes. This is gonna be the first internship I've had away from home. This is definitely like the biggest company that I have intern for genuinely so grateful that this is my junior summer sorry i've just been yapping for literally like 40 minutes so so 
What can you take away from this, if anything? I don't know, but I'm gonna try to give you a recap. Freshman summer, put yourself out there. Don't be discouraged if you don't get an internship opportunity. Tons of people don't and it's genuinely so difficult. And just like slowly take up opportunities at school, you know, build up your resume. You still have time. Sophomore summer, apply, mass apply, you know. I applied to 86 companies originally and then I applied to 29 more. It is discouraging to not hear back from the majority of them, but you can only try your best and that's all that you can expect from yourself. And if you face any obstacles, like do it again, run it back, you know, like it's not too late. It wasn't too late for me. It's not too late for you. Like you're gonna be okay. Junior summer, I would apply early. I thought of something. So uh, my internship number two, he said that it is more important for you to build up your strengths than it is to build up your weaknesses. Let me explain. If this is where you are for your weak skill and this is like where other people are, right? It takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to get even here. However, like if this is your strength compared to other people, it is so much more important for you to make that strength even stronger. Not saying that you shouldn't improve your weaknesses. It is important to work on what you're not good at, but also like your time is very well spent improving your strengths and using your strengths to succeed. And I think that is what I learned from applying to my junior summer internship. It is very difficult for me to stand out in a technical coding assessment for SWE positions. There are so many more like cracked people in this world. However, I know that my strength is with numbers and is with data analytics and communicating that, combining that with more of a business emphasis. And so that's why I think I really excelled in Cheesecake's interview process. Obviously, I will continue working on my lead code because it is important for a reason. However, I do recognize what my strengths are and I will be using that and working on that even more getting even better at it because I think that it's genuinely an area that I am passionate about and I foresee myself succeeding in. So I hope that you will be able to figure out where your strengths are and be okay that maybe your strengths aren't what other people's strengths are and that is okay. Like you don't have to be discouraged. If you're not amazing at lead code, like that's okay. Like your strengths can come from other places. There are other ways to stand out as well. And I think that as long as you put in the time and effort to to keep on improving, keep on growing, it'll pay off. Honestly, I'm tired of yapping and this is gonna be really long to edit. So I'm gonna end it there. If you have more questions, you can comment down below. I will try my best to reply. Again, I am not an expert. This is just my experience. So like, don't come at me. That is all. I will see you guys next time. Bye.